morning, everybody. Before I start our presentation, I would just like to see a show of hands of here. Who drinks coffee? All right, thank you. All right, coffee is becoming more and more popular every day. Coffee culture is growing in Malaysia. And you know, you see all types of cafes in the world doing globally so well. You have Starbucks, of course, Coffee Bean, Pacific Coffee, and as well as McCafe. But all these companies are franchised, which, is, which means they open, they run their business around the world, globally. But in Malaysia, there's also, there are also all these companies, but there are a lack of individual uh, business, uh, I mean individual cafes. What I'm talking is individual as in it stands alone and it doesn't run globally or anywhere else in the country. Another question is, what do you get when you have a bus, a double-decker bus, to be specific, some restaurant furniture, and a wide variety of food, and good coffee? Well, my book presents you Expresso. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, our, our business plan is basically a moving cafe. You know, you see all types of cafe, but you don't see a moving, a moving cafe or a food truck. You also don't even see a food truck in Malaysia other than Loblo. <laughs> right? Alright, so why Expresso? The word Espresso means brewed coffee in Italian. And Express means fast. Without the E, of course. By combining both words together, espresso plus express, you get espresso. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm going to move on to uh, Tristan. I'm going to explain to you about the market analysis. So, market analysis. First of all, our market size is quite small because this is the first double deck cafe bus which we plan to have in Southeast Asia. To start this business, to start this business, we approximately need three hundred thousand dollars, as compared to opening a shop, we probably need five hundred thousand dollars. This picture shows few places that start up this business successfully in U.S. And our targeted customers are office workers, students, gym members, and residents. Competitors. The flaw and weakness among competitors are, for example, Burgerland, which are hardly to find seats because it is too crowded. The price of food is unreasonable, too high. Next, coffee bean, which does not have a um, wide variety of choices. And our specialty <coughs> is coffee. So as you can see, we have wide variety of coffee. Mobility uh, is is also our specialized as well. And lastly, our priority to make customer satisfaction with our food and services. <coughs> so next. Okay, uh, marketing strategy. The marketing strategy that attracts customer to our bus is that we provide a variety of food, then we provide breakfast, lunch, and of course our main attraction healthy gym meal and dinner. So this is the example of food, breakfast, lunch, healthy gym meal and dinner. Our beverage, of course, like Darren said, our coffee is a main uh, attraction of it and tea and we sell milkshake. So these are the examples that we are will be located at for morning, lunch,
IBM, Nabank, and Village Mosul. And next is organization chart. For the first is owner, underneath is the manager. The manager will uh, control and manage the three departments. Firstly, the operation department. Basically, they control and manage the activity in the cafe bus. And under here, we have one driver, one barista, and one head chef. And kitchen crew. For kitchen crew, we will provide them training to ensure them to serve good food. <coughs> After is purchasing department, they will purchase the material, materials and food from the supplier. Lastly, is financial department, uh, financial manager, and he, he will assist by accountant and manager. Okay, lastly, the rule and regulation to protect our policy. Okay, no alcohol, no smoking in our cafe bars, and we serve halal food. Financial plan. I'm going to touch this a little bit. All right, our capital, starting capital, will be an estimated of six hundred and fifty thousand ringgit. This money will be sourced from three sources. The first being bank loan. Second, partnerships which what Shirley said, Maybank and IBM. IBM will be handling our point of sale system, which is our cash register. And the last would be from our savings, 50,000 ringgit. All right, we're not so rich, so 50,000 ringgit. <laughs> All right, so that 603,000 will be used to purchase, of course, the double-decker food bus, to pay the labor salary, purchase ingredients, uh, some plates, bowls, and etc. An espresso machine, not cheap. Kitchen wares for the chef, uh, pots, pans, and knives. Advertising expenses for three years. And what keeps our truck going is the diesel fuel, electricity and water, furniture, <coughs> and of course, maintenance and service. So the total amount to be expended to start our business as shown in the equation here, 603,000 our capital, Minus off our expenses, five hundred and seventy thousand, and our remaining eighty thousand will be used to uh, to purchase more ingredients or use for to pay more our expenses. And note that this um, our calculation is for th for the first three years when we start our business. And our expectation when we start our business, of course, which business starts with tons of uh, tons of profit, right? So there will be little or zero profit for the first three years. And the revenue will be used to pay off our bank loans. All right, we borrowed so much money, we have to pay back, pay back the banks. And lastly, when we have, um, <laughs> when we ask, when we, ask, when we start to earn uh, some profit, and we will plan to expand our business in the future. Maybe to have more buses. Maybe to expand to other countries, or even to upgrade our bus. Here's our reference, and I'm going to play you a short video of uh, it's, an advert it's an advertisement video from us. Please enjoy. <laughs> Should leave it now. <laughs>